Hey guys, I spent the last 30 days being vegan and the idea was kind of taken from Leah Michelle's You First um, in which she has like fun food challenges and uh, one of them is to go vegan for 14 days she recommends I think but I chose 30 days because it kind of goes along with the happiness planner and like changing habits or creating habits or something like that um, so I kind of decided at the end of last year that at some point this year I wanted to change my diet kind of dramatically and experience something new. Um, I've never been one to kind of like be, oh I want to be a vegan. I've always kind of thought, well, like it's the food chain so meat is part of our diet for a reason. As lot, But dairy's always been one of those things that I'm like, well... I can be persuaded against it because of the whole kind of no other animal after infancy kind of still consumes dairy. Um, so I thought I'll go vegan for 30 days and just see how my body reacts and how I feel during it. And to be honest, like, I felt great. Like, I, um, the first, like, maybe week was really kind of hard and I did feel myself like wavering and wanting to just pick something up again but I didn't and I was like kept going um I did at one point think I might only do 15 days and just do like the two weeks or whatever like the you first journal says but I was like no if I'm gonna do this I want to do this for the full 30 days and see the full effects and I'll thank myself at the end of it and 30 days genuinely does go by in the blink of an eye like before I knew it here I am at the end of it and I feel so much better, like I just feel healthier and my hair feels better, like my my nails feel better, my skin um, has been having a rough time of it but it does feel better. Uh, <laughs> I just feel all over just like more energised and happier in myself. I lost 22 pounds on this diet or on this lifestyle change. And that's something I'm really proud of. <laughs> I did like go back to exercising. I wasn't as extreme in my exercise as I've been before, but my diet changed dramatically. So I think that's obviously the leading like contributor. Um, there was moments that were really hard and I did find it difficult to have to look at the back of everything to make sure that I could eat something. But I actually started eating three meals a day which was really strange for me because I like try with breakfast I'm not always successful and I was trying with Belvita breakfast bars and uh, they're not vegan friendly so I started making smoothies and I really really enjoyed them so I'm gonna start having smoothies for breakfast but I'm a horrible 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 morning person so I am currently chopping up all the fruit and I'm uh, gonna put them into little pouches. That's only got blueberries in there the now but it's gonna have banana and strawberries in within a minute and I'm gonna freeze them so I can just pull them out in the morning and blend and go and hopefully get back into like a healthier routine because right now um not spending a lot of money on just like buying shit as I go so hopefully being prepared is going to make me so much healthier. <laughs> and I'm just back from spin class and day three of being a vegan so I've got my smoothie. This is like the one person I never thought I'd become the person who likes green smoothies but this is a concoction of kale spinach, avocado, grapes, apple and apple juice and I freaking love it. It's so good and it just makes me feel really refreshed afterwards. <laughs> So it just made everything easier and um, you know there was times where I really thought like when I was feeling unwell that I just wanted like ice cream or chocolate something co that felt comforting to me. 
but I found like new comfort food in the form of like vegan nachos they were my kind of like when I was feeling groggy food they became my like little comfort and they were still like on the diet and they were okay for you so it was such a kind of strange concept of wanting something definitely in the beginning and not being able to have it and then it just became that I didn't really want it anymore there were days where I felt myself like on a night out I think part of me just really wanted drunk food and I think that's a time where we can all really slip up is when we want to just eat crap after we've been drinking a lot but <laughs> I didn't Do you know what you can't have when you're vegan? Drunk food Nope I mean I could have had chips I think I'm not sure which is why I didn't have them I was like how can you wish all? And then I'm like, I don't think you can. I came in and I literally ate a banana. I was like, banana is not a drunk food. And I have spring class in the morning. I don't have any smoothies made up. So I'll buy a smoothie when I'm there. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> Do you know what? Is going well. Veganism is going well, but I look forward to it being over because fuck it, fuck it all. I hate looking at the back of it. I hate making sure that I can eat it. There are people who do this and enjoy it, and who are like really passionate about veganism and vegetarianism, and I'm like. Honestly, can't be bothered with making sure that I can eat it, but I'm doing good. I don't remember how many more days to go. But there's something I miss when I'm drunk, it's just eating drunk food at the end of the night. Like, food you wouldn't think of eating sober. I don't know how much I've drank. Hear this, I've eaten a banana. A banana. And that is good going. Especially when Mark goes there with the kebab. I don't like kebab. But when I was eating it, I was like, I don't know anything right now. And it was in front of me. And I didn't. Yay me. I didn't go vegan my alcohol though. Because I don't really, I haven't researched much into that. And I think if I was to do this vegan 30 days again which I probably will um in the next few months I still haven't decided which month but um I'm definitely going to be uh, doing it again and I'm going to have maybe a vegan week here and there between now and then um but I didn't look enough into that and I didn't want to be the person asking at the bar like oh what's vegan here I just think that's a bit like pretentious uh, I think it's something I should have looked into before my night's out, but I'm pretty sound of mind that I didn't kind of have anything that wasn't fair. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I also didn't go vegan my makeup because MAC is my uh, foundation and my powder and the lipstick I'm using right now. And because they sell in China, they're not a vegan company. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I only went vegan in my diet really and I yeah like I found it difficult I also really enjoyed it and I understand that there are some people this is their life for them this is what they've chosen and it made me realize how supermarkets don't really stop for vegans like they've really upped their game for like gluten-free and vegetarians but for vegans it's still really hard to kind of realize like what like what's your section <laughs> and uh it did mean that I started to make my own meals and discover like a total new love for cooking and finding out what's inside my like dinner. <laughs> um, it did mean I did know what was in everything I was eating because I had to check the packaging if I didn't like I didn't know what was in it and then I could have been really going off on my diet. There was a lot of things that I thought would be allowed and it turns out they weren't like it's strange to find out kind of how many products out there contain like dairy or animal products and it was just it was eye-opening at least um, um but I'll definitely be going 
vegan in the future like for periods of the time I don't know if that's ever just going to be the way I am for life like my mum in the beginning was joking that I'd never manage it but in the end she was joking that that was just me now this was how life was and it did feel like that when I started like today is my first day of being not a vegan and I had chicken pasta for lunch there <laughs> and I had my kale smoothie next to me just in case it's like oh um I did like it it just was different it felt like it, I shouldn't be eating it I feel like I should still be in the vegan diet and really that's just was weird I'll probably fall back into like the way of things in a couple of days but I'm definitely going to include a lot of the vegan choices in with the, my, like my real life again and um try not to divert too much from it I'm definitely going to include meat and dairy back into my life but not at the same consumption as before because honestly if you feel better after doing something why then stop doing that like that makes no sense so I feel better so I'm going to continue doing that in as much as I can but I'm not going to say no to like dairy and meat now I'm just going to be like in smaller quantities um I'm not a big meat eater anyway uh yeah be interesting to see how I get on from here and um, yeah if you are vegan or have tried challenges like the 30 days or anything else you know comment below what you found most difficult and um, other things <laughs> and like subscribe whatever you want to do and I'll see you again soon thank you bye <laughs>